How to Prevent Mosquitoes from Breeding Besides limiting the fun activities to do outdoors, there is at least one pest problem that really annoys many people when the rainy season comes. Yes, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are iconic summer pests, but they can cause more problems than just itchy bites also, transmitting dangerous diseases such as Zika or Dengue blood fever. You can only do so much to stop them from biting. To prevent swarms of mosquitoes in your yard, you first need to understand one thing about their breeding and life cycle. It's a simple rule, the more you disrupt the mosquito breeding cycle, the fewer mosquitoes will be around to bite and annoy you. The best way to manage a mosquito problem is to tackle it at its source, keep the mosquitoes from breeding. This video will show you how. In this video, we're going to talk to you about the most effective strategies on how to prevent mosquitoes from breeding. So you can enjoy a mosquitoes-free home and yard. Welcome to The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you how to eliminating standing water and deterring and killing mosquitoes. Follow all the steps in this video for the best results, and don't forget to subscribe to get all the household tips and tricks you don't want to miss. Method 1. Eliminating Standing Water Number 1. Empty, drain, or cover all things that can and may hold standing water. Mosquitoes can breed in as little as 1 to 2 fluid ounces, 30 to 59 milliliters, of water, so clear out any areas of your backyard or porch where rainwater can pool. Barrels and trash cans tend to collect rainwater extremely well. Old tires, empty bottles, buckets, and other small containers can condense water vapor into tiny pools. Empty and drain all pools of water and cover them up to prevent more water from gathering. Number 2. Change water collection pans for plant pots weekly. When you water your plants, the excess water will run through the soil and collect in a pan. If you have any outdoor plants, these collection pans are a prime location for mosquitoes to breed. Empty and clean the pans at least once a week, preferably more frequently. Number 3. Clean bird baths weekly. If you have a bird bath outside your house, the stagnant water is a perfect place for mosquitoes to lay eggs. Minimize mosquitoes breeding there by changing the water and scrubbing down the bath at least once a week, preferably more frequently. Number 4. Repair or prevent outside leaks. Plumbing that runs outside can be affected by exposure to the weather, resulting in minor leaks. Window air conditioners often drip condensation, which can pool on the ground. Dripping outdoor faucets also pool on the ground. Repair these problems to minimize water collection as much as possible. Number 5. Maintain swimming pools with proper care. If you have a small plastic pool meant to be used temporarily, make sure you drain all of the water and store it indoors when it's not in use. If you have a backyard swimming pool, monitor the chlorine levels regularly and keep the pool clean. Number 6. Keep the rain gutters and drains clean. If they are filled with debris, they will trap water during the next rainfall instead of letting it drain. Mosquitoes will then breed in this standing water. Number 7. Prevent other sources of standing water. Standing water is the number one breeding spot for mosquitoes. Sometimes, it is nearly impossible to find all bodies of standing water and draining them. However, there are a few precautions you can take to prevent water from building up. Here are some tips to get you started. Get rid of any unused pots or bins or turn them upside down, so they don't collect water. Keep trash and recycling bins covered. If you can't, try drilling drain holes into the bottom of them. Keep a fine mesh screen over rain barrels, water tanks, and cisterns. Take a look at your plants. Are any of them collecting water in between the leaves and the stems? If so, consider poking a tiny hole with a pin into those areas to allow for proper drainage. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Deterring and Killing Mosquitoes Number 1. Eliminate or fill nooks, crannies, and holes. If you have a patio or a porch, there may be small crevices and openings that can harbor mosquitoes and their eggs. Trees on your lawn may have holes in their trunks where mosquitoes can reside and breed. If you can't eliminate the holes, consider filling them with sand. Number 2. Mow your lawns weekly. Mosquitoes aren't likely to lay eggs in tall grass, but they tend to sit in the tall grass for rest and hiding. 
Keep your grass as short as possible and as frequently as possible. Number 3. Trim back tall weeds and bushes. These offer homes for adult mosquitoes. If you limit these, you will reduce the number of adult mosquitoes. Number 4. Plant some mosquito repelling flowers and herbs. Plant some mosquito repelling flowers and herbs, especially near areas that are prone to collect water. You can place them directly into your garden, or you can place them in flower pots. Mosquitoes don't like the smell of these plants, and will stay away from them. Here are some plants you should consider planting in your garden. Herbs, such as, rosemary and lavender. Other plants, such as, catnip, citronella, lemon balm, and mint. You can also make your own mosquito repellent out of natural ingredients like citronella, geraniol, or lemon eucalyptus oils. Number 5. Get some fish for your water garden. If you already have a water garden, consider adding some mosquito-eating fish, such as minnows or mosquito fish. They are hardy, easy to care for, and love to feast on mosquito larvae. If you have a larger pond, you can stock it with koi or goldfish instead. There are some larvicides that you can use in water gardens. Before you choose to use one, make sure that it is safe for fish and other animals. Favor deeper water gardens and ponds over shallower ones. Aim for something that is 24 inches, 60.96 centimeters, or deeper. It'll be better for your fish, and the depth will deter mosquitoes. Mosquitoes prefer shallower waters. Number 6. Add a waterfall, fountain, or aerator to your water garden. Not only will it be good for the health of your pond, but it will disrupt the surface of the water. Mosquitoes like standing water, and won't go near moving water. You can also add a fountain to your birdbath, if you have one. Number 7. Make use of larvicides to kill mosquito larvae. They often come in pellet form, and need to be applied monthly. They usually do not kill off other insects which prey upon mosquitoes, such as dragonflies. Listed below are common types of larvicides. Bacillus thuringiensis israelensis, BTI, such mosquito dunks, mosquito bits, and microblift, are mosquito poisons. The mosquitoes die after they ingest it. Methaprene is an insect growth regulator, IGR. It prevents mosquito larvae from molting. They take a few days to kill, but they will kill other insects as well. Mineral oil-based larvicides suffocate mosquito larvae when sprayed on top of water. Number 8. Encourage other mosquito predators to visit your yard. Bats, dragonflies, and insect-eating birds will all feast on mosquitoes and mosquito larvae. You can do this simply by installing some bird houses or bat houses. If you have a water garden, you can also consider adding a frog or two. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Tips 1. Mosquito eggs can remain unhatched for weeks or even months. Once they are covered by water, it only takes one or two days for the eggs to hatch. Warnings 1. When you're using any insect repellent, always read and follow the label instructions carefully. Choose the method that works best for you and your situation, and enjoy a mosquito's free home and yard. Follow this channel, to learn many more household tips, tricks, and life hacks like this. If you have other tips, please share them with us in the comments. Good luck, and see you in the next video.